Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to YouTuber Big D for setting me up so I can have a proper cuppa at the end of 2016. Hey, welcome back to the shop, folks. Um, Viewer Mail brought us a nice big box of Yorkshire tea, which my family is quite happy about because we do enjoy a hot cuppa from being taught the proper way to have tea living in uh, Norfolk, England for two years. Hey, um, 2016, uh, apparently I blinked and it's over. Um, so I would, uh, I got to thinking about all the stuff that we have done uh, over the past year and thought I would briefly go over it while I have some indigestion because I may have eaten too many spritz cookies. So uh, here's what we did in 2016. We built a guitar side bending machine with forms and uh, spent all great gobs of money on a heating controller as well as the first of what is probably many heating blankets. Made and revised deep reach C clamps for bridge work. Sourced and replaced tuners on the $25 made in Japan Dorado Dreadnought made wooden rings out of veneer which quickly became the second most popular video behind my homemade spool clamp video. Found and replaced a gear on a classical tuner that's technically known as finding a needle in a haystack. Made an instrument photography background out of pallet wood for free. Experimented with dyeing flame maple veneer and uh, water-based dyes. Made a binding thicknessing machine for my drill press. Glued a cracked uh, neck heel. Discovered that alcohol and acrylic don't play well together. Began to build a three-quarter scale dreadnought from scratch, including the side bending form with a removable cutaway. Found and lost a source for my preferred size of go-bar rods. Still looking for an economical replacement. Continued to use the Sunshine Dreadnought to make tooling for a full-size Dreadnought instrument. Experimented with spalted wood found in a firewood pile. Learned about hot hide glue on the Collegiate A-style mandolin. Discovered the Stumac precision router jig and circle cutter attachment. Expensive but worth it. Demonstrated how to use a router sled to plane headstock overlays and rosette blanks. Reached 1,000 subscribers and had our first giveaway. Built a mandolin bridge. Hot hide glued a spalted rosette into a soundboard. Began building neck alignment jigs for guitar and mandolin sized instruments. And then replaced the bearings in a Craftsman contractor table saw. Replaced the bearings on a DeWalt radial arm saw. Repaced, replaced the warped top on a workmate bench, steamed out dents on an acoustic guitar top, recreated a damaged guitar label in Photoshop, began the content creator's playlist to help you make better videos, ask for your input on how to restore the Lone Ranger three-quarter scale guitar, began the Patreon campaign, uh, took off guitar backs and put a couple back on. Built our own bridge calls to flatten a warped soundboard. Replicated a 1930s guitar bridge. Discussed the importance of humidifying your instruments as someone upstairs begins taking a shower and making loud watery noises in the pipes. Removed, made, and replaced a ladder bracing style bridge plate brace thingy. Defretted a guitar with teeny tiny frets. Fixed a copyright issue on a ton of videos. My apologies to all those that survived it. Reached 1500 subscribers. Fixed a flat flex cable on my broken video recorder. Removed a guitar neck without steam. Fixed a couple of cracks, cleaned a few tuners, looked inside a few old acoustic guitars, had a little fun, made some new friends, 
and ended the year with 1,650 subscribers. It's been uh, busy. Plans for 2017 will be busy. Er, uh, we're gonna finish up a bunch of projects. Uh, the in-house projects, the Lone Ranger guitar, the Collegiate Mandolin, and the Lazarus. Um, those will be done this year. In addition to stuff that belongs to other people, which moves up to the front of the line. Uh, we're gonna start a few more projects. I have a couple in mind. Uh, I'm gonna continue reaching out to collaborate more with other YouTube creators. Uh, right now I'm doing one with uh, Jesse Anderson on his uh, 1930s parlor guitar. I hope to do more like that. <clears throat> We're going to continue to build up the Patreon community. In the short time that it has been active, the Patreon members, they've seen all the same videos that you have seen, but they generally see them as soon as I upload them instead of waiting to be scheduled, and they see them ad-free. Um, if you will look on the Patreon page, there are support levels. There's a particular level that when it gets reached, all the advertising disappears for everybody. Um, a support for the production side of things frees up money for guitar projects. Uh, I have an interesting giveaway idea that we'll talk more about in 2017. Um, I have a partnership idea that I'm waiting to get a message back from somebody to see if this will fly. With that, we're going to have another spritz cookie burp. Uh, apparently there's a yak in my kitchen. Um, with that, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who watches the videos, to the people who subscribe to the channels and most importantly to the people that contribute to the conversations that these videos um, generate. I learn gobs and gobs from you guys um, about particular things that I'm working on, but then because of the comments that I will get from people, that makes me, it, it, I get curious as to whether this person has a channel or not, and if they do, then I usually end up binge watching and taking notes. Uh, I have notebooks filled with stuff on particular items, particular styles, techniques, um, material choices, tools um, that I get from just sitting down and watching other people's videos. And usually the way that I find out about that is someone says, hey, have you seen uh, Randy Shardiger's channel? And I'm like, who's that? And next thing I know, uh, I'm a huge Randy Shardiger fan. Um, there are a number of channels like that. Um, Rosa Stringworks is like that in my book. Um, Dane is like that in my book. I mean, there are, there are a number of them, and I'm, I actually have a list of people whose channels I haven't even gotten to yet because I'm too busy watching other people's channels. So um, it, please continue to comment. Um, the comments that I get are great and they help me tremendously and I hope that by sharing the information it helps you guys as well. Um, there are a number of people that I know that are watching these that are where I was three months ago, you know, six months ago, three years ago, who just don't know what's going on and you watch it and you learn and it's great. Um, and I'm very appreciative to the entire YouTube community for being as sharing with their information as they are. Um, with all of that, uh, Happy New Year. Don't drink and drive. If you're having a tough time with life right now, reach out and ask for help because there are people around you that will help. Um, and, and most of all, please be excellent to one another. It would solve a lot of problems if, as a whole, we would not be like jerks. So, cheers. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube 
And if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.